Hi guys, it's Rabbi Cooper from Cam Sports. Hope you've been having a great uh, year so far. It's uh, actually Erev Yom Kippur. I'm hydrating myself right now, trying to get ready for the big day. You ever have one of those long days that seem to just not end? Uh, for some of us, that is Yom Kippur. It's a very long day. It's a tiring, tiring one. I actually had a very long day recently. It was uh, just this past weekend. And I had uh, woke up really early and I uh, was feeling a little groggy and time after time everything took longer than I felt it should. The haircut that I wanted didn't come out the way I wanted it to and I waited online for about an hour and a half and finally I got home. Friday night started, my family wasn't home and uh, the day just dragged on and on. My guest showed up an hour and a half late and uh, it was a lot of waiting. Finally the meal started and uh, I was trying to give attention to the guests and I wasn't focusing on my son Shmuel. So of course he uh, wasn't exactly so happy about that. And at some point in time I started running around the table trying to stop him from whatever he was doing and by mistake I stepped on his toe and his, uh, his toe started, you know, the, the nail came up a little bit and it hurt a lot. So he was very upset and he said it's all your fault and I said it's not my fault, it's your fault. You should have listened to me. And then I caught myself. Maybe it is my fault. One of the major parts of the tefillah, of the davening of Yom Kippur, is the ashamnu. The ashamnu is where we say, I was guilty, I did this, this bad and that bad, achet, I did this sin. I don't like using the word sin or avera. You can use that as if you want to, but it's really mistakes. Yom Kippur is a day where we spend a lot of time listing off a lot of individual mistakes we've made. And between you and me, I'm sure we've made a lot of mistakes since camp, during camp, before camp, and throughout the year we make a lot of mistakes. Yom Kippur challenges us to recognize the value of every single moment we have, every opportunity we have with a person, every chance we have to keep our word, to be kind to people, to be more positive, to make time for people we love, to be respectful. And it asks, asks us to realize that little things do count. I remember back many time, many years ago, there was a this space shuttle that exploded. Everything was perfect, except it was missing a little O-ring. And sometimes when you're missing just little, little things, they add up. The challenge is to admit that we make mistakes. The challenge is to notice all those drop balls and to realize that we can be big if we notice every small moment. If we realize that we make mistakes and if we recognize those mistakes and decide to minimize those mistakes and stop those mistakes, we'll be bigger people and people around us will like us more. It's a day to realize that Hashem cares about us no matter how dirty we are. And I recently heard a story of another five-year-old five boy whose father told him, if you're not ready for shul in ten minutes, you're not coming. And he was knee-deep knee in dirt, and there's no way he was going to be ready for shul. So time passes, and eventually the kid turns to his father and says, I'm not going to be ready on my own. I need you to clean me. If you clean me, I'll be ready. And Yom Kippur is a time where we ask Hashem, Hashem, I want to be better. I need you to clean me. And the Rambam says, the day itself, itzimo shalyom mechaper, it cleans you. You're a different person. Your relationship with Hashem can be different from just one day. Just being real with who you are, being real with your mistakes, being upfront with God and saying, I'm not perfect but I want to be better. Think about it. Say it. Think about your day. Think about those moments, the small moments, and realize that we can all be much bigger. And with God's help, we'll be able to make a very long day into a very productive day. And with a little bit of thought and introspection into ourselves, into our hearts, and with a lot of help from God, We'll have a very special year. A Gemara Chasimatova, 
Wishing you all the best and looking forward to see all of you one time soon, either in New York, Hey, 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 hey,